Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to focus on placing fractions on the number line. And specifically, we're going to focus on placing fractions on the number line that are, or fractions that are greater than one whole on the number line. So our learning goal for today says, I can place whole number fractions on a number line. So for example, a whole number fraction would be three thirds because that would represent one. Okay, so the materials that you need are just your dry erase board. So make sure you have that before we get started. All right, so let's talk about some fractions on a number line. Here we have a number line with the endpoints of one and two. Well, where has the zero gone on our number line? Yeah, so it's before the one. This arrow in front of the one tells us that our number line is going to keep going backwards. And the number after the, or the arrow after the two tells us that our number line can continue to go on after three. So really what we're doing when we're having a number line that's going between one and two as the endpoints, we just kind of cut a chunk out of the number line and are just focusing on this one part between one and two. So let's partition our whole into four equal lengths, or our fractional unit, fourths. So remember, when you're talking about a number line um, and you're splitting up into fourths, you would only draw three lines. So you have to draw one less than the number of parts that you want. Same thing when you're splitting up rectangles. So here now I have four equal parts. Zero fourths is what I would label one. Oh, stop, wait a minute. What's wrong with zero fourths? Why can't I label one as zero fourths? Yeah, because that's not where we're starting. How many fourths are in one whole? Four fourths. So that means I would need to label one on my number line as four fourths. Now we're gonna draw the number line and label the rest of the fractions up to two. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video. Draw your number line from one to two, and then we'll add in the fractions together. So pause the video, just draw your number line from one to two, and then split it into four equal parts. Do that part, and then we'll draw in our fractions together. So click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so your fraction or your number line should look just like mine, okay? So after four-fourths, the next part would be five-fourths. And then we would have six-fourths, seven-fourths, and eight-fourths. Eight-fourths fourths represents two. You can check that you're at a whole number, like eight-fourths, because if you take eight and divide it by four, you would get that whole number of two. Just like if you go back to one, four divided by four equals one. So that's a cool way to check to make sure that you're correct as you're labeling your whole numbers. All right, so what are the whole number of fractions that we have on our number line? Yeah, four fourths and eight fourths. Let's draw boxes around those fractions. So here we have them. Four-fourths is the same point on the number line as one. We call that equivalence. So those are equivalent numbers. One whole is the same as four-fourths. How many fourths would be equivalent to or at the same point as two? Yeah, eight-fourths. What fraction is equivalent or at the same point as three? So this isn't on your number line. So let's think, how would we figure that out? If you had to kind of keep counting on to get to three on your number line, what would the equivalent fraction be? It's a little bit tricky, right? You could count up four more times, right? So eight fourths, nine fourths, 10 fourths, 11 fourths, 12 fourths because you're counting up four more equal parts. Okay, so awesome. All right, so we're going to draw a number line with the endpoints of two and four. So you're going to pause the video and just draw your number line with endpoints of two and four and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, so here's my number line between two and four. 
what whole number is missing from this number line? Like we can't, we're not just gonna go from two to four. There's something that goes in between those. What's missing? Yeah, three. So let's place three on the number line. So pause the video, go ahead and add that in. And then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, so let's partition each whole number interval into three equal lengths. So what do you think that would look like? So the whole number, so like we're talking about, let's talk about first between two and three. Those are my first two whole numbers. If I partition that into three equal lengths, what am I really splitting that into? Yeah, thirds, right? So in between this space right here, I would have thirds. So those are my three equal parts. All right, so you're gonna partition both whole numbers into intervals, um, whole number intervals into three equal lengths. So I did the first one for you. You're gonna end up doing that one and between three and four into three equal parts. So pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here's between three and four into three equal lengths. All right, so now we need to label the parts, but our number line starts at two. It doesn't start at one or even zero. So how many thirds are equivalent to two holes? Well, we know that three thirds make one hole, right? So six units of thirds make two holes. Okay, so if we would have six thirds, that's gonna be the same as two holes. Remember, you can also check it by saying six divided by three equals two. So label the rest of your number line. So pause the video, label the fractions all the way from two to four with your all the fractions in between, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So I have seven thirds, eight thirds, nine thirds. Notice how nine divided by three equals three as that whole number, okay? All right, let's keep going. 10 thirds, 11 thirds, and 12 thirds. Remember, 12 divided by three equals that whole number of four. So that's the way to check yourself, friends. All right, so now we're gonna label between three and six, your endpoint, um, endpoint, number line with endpoints of three and six, and you're gonna add the missing whole numbers. Okay, so pause the video, just the whole numbers. Remember, three and six are whole numbers, they're not a fraction. So what goes in between three and six? So pause the video, write those in, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, pause if you need more time. All right, so here's my next two parts, so four and five. So you should be able to count three, four, five, and six to know that you are straight across with your whole numbers in your number line. Now you're gonna partition each interval into halves and label each part. So each interval is just talking about between those two holes. So between three and four, split that into halves. Between four and five, split those into halves. And between five and six, split those into halves and then label those fractions. Okay, so pause the video. Go ahead and finish and complete the number line by partitioning into halves and labeling the parts, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. So I'm splitting each interval into halves, then I'm gonna label my fractions. So I know that three is six halves because six divided by three equals three. I'm sorry, six divided by two equals three. So now I can keep counting on with my fractions. So seven halves, eight halves, nine halves, 10 halves, 11 halves, and 12 halves. Okay, did you guys get those two? All right, awesome, great job friends. All right, so now we're gonna label between four and six again on our number line and label those missing whole numbers. Pause the video, go ahead and do that same thing again with this brand new number line and then click play when you're ready for the next step.
right, friends, pause if you need more time. So between this one, we only need a five. Okay, so our missing whole number was just five. Now you're gonna pause the video, partition each interval, so between four and five, and then again between five and six, into thirds and label each part. So pause the video, split up into thirds and label each part, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. So I'm gonna start with splitting into thirds between four and five, and now between five and six, splitting into thirds again. Sometimes it might be helpful for you to cover up the other parts that you're not working on. Okay, so if you're only looking at between four and five, you can use another piece of paper and cover up between five and six on your number line so you don't get confused by splitting up which part you need to split up into thirds. Okay, so I'm going to label my fractions now. So 12 thirds is the same as four. You can check that by saying 12 divided by three equals four. Okay. So now we're just gonna keep counting on. So 13 thirds, 14 thirds, 15 thirds. Stop and check at that whole number to say 15 divided by three, does that equal five? And if it does, you're right on track and keep going. 16 thirds, 17 thirds, and 18 thirds. Okay, so awesome. All right, friends, nice job placing whole number fractions on a number line. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. <laughs>